Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys a product empties video and this is my first product empties videos video and it's really been really hard to remember to save my empties like really really hard and especially since we're moving which you found out in my last video if you watched my chit chat get ready with me slash life update those are very important if you like to know what's going on in my life because some of you are nosy but anyways i have product empties with for you guys today and i'm just gonna give you a little rundown on them okay so the first thing i have here are these kiss color salon color vivid to coat color anyways they're fake nails and these aren't exactly exactly empty but we all know that after you kind of find your size like you can't really use them again so then you buy a whole pack of nails to either find somebody with bigger or smaller hands than you to use but anyways yeah i really liked these the pink nail glue that comes in here is actually really good i had these on for about a week before they ever started falling off and i believe the only reason they fell off is because i was packing they were getting banged up on a lot of stuff but they lasted for a good amount of time and they were really strong and so i really like these i'll definitely be buying more i think i am gonna go ahead and see if i can't make these work on make some of these other sizes work for me because I really did like them and they really were pretty. I got compliments on them and yeah, so it's not like they look super fake or anything like that. They were really, really good. My next empty is this Rin Pure Coconut Milk and Vitamin E Body Wash. I really, really like this body wash. This is actually the second one that we've gone through. I feel like it keeps you really, really moisturized. It doesn't make your skin feel super dry whenever you get out the shower and yeah, it's it smelled really good too and as you can see like we try to use stuff up to the very last drop but we didn't with that one the next thing is this hask Manoy coconut oil conditioner i also had the shampoo to this that we finished up and it was actually really really good now you do have to use a coconut with this this is actually free of sulfates parabens phthalates gluten drying alcohol and artificial colors and so this is as natural as you're gonna get for six dollars and so i don't think that that's a bad price because when you go and buy shampoo you're ranging in at the drugstore you're ranging anywhere from four to ten dollars and so i don't think that's bad i really like this but like i said if you use a shampoo to this it does make your hair feel very very tangled so you do need to go in with something like this just to kind of soothe that out a little bit. The next thing I have is this OGX Curling Curling Perfection Defining Cream. And I actually really like this. It was really good for my curls. It held them in place. My only issue is that you have to use so much and you don't get very much. And this costs as much as this big old bottle right here costs. And so, I mean, you're only getting six fluid ounces for six bucks. I mean, so that's like a dollar an ounce. And it's really good but like i said you blow through it so fast and i have thin hair so if you have really really thick hair you're not gonna get much use out of this so yeah the next empty i have is this garnier garnier moisture moisture rescue refreshing gel cream this was my moisturizer and i had one for dry skin oh i love this so much like this is by far my favorite moisturizer and I can definitely tell when I go without this. I start getting my eczema patches everywhere all over my face. My face looks dry. My face feels dry. And so I cannot go without this. And so obviously I got another one. I'm trying out the regular, the normal to the normal, the normal skin one, the oily to normal skin. Since it is getting hot, my skin won't be as dry as it is in the winter. So that one. I really have to make sure I use that one if I don't want my eczema spots to show up. But it is good as well. But yeah, I went ahead and finished one of these. I finished many, many of these. I think I've finished like three of these. And yeah, this would be like my third one that I finished. So I really, really like that, you guys. I highly recommend. My next empty is the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. This is $9.50 for this size. And this size lasted me two months. Yes, and that's from taking off full glam makeup just like I have on today, which I will link this video on this makeup look down below and somewhere in the cards if you want to see it. But yeah, this Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm has been 
it literally melts every inch of makeup off your face. I do still go on with the cleanser afterwards and then I still go in with the makeup wipe because I really want to make sure I get all of the makeup out of my skin and off of my skin. But this is amazing. I recommend trying the small one. Um, when I have the money, I might just go ahead and buy the big one because I don't think I'd have to if I buy the big one, I feel like I won't have to purchase it forever. Like, that's how, like, a little bit of this goes such a long way. Okay, so this Bessie Jelly Cleaner from Junk Elephant. I didn't... This wasn't nothing amazing to me. I really like my Neutrogena, my Neutrogena Hydra Boost face wash way better than this. This one burns my eyes. My Neutrogena one does not. The Neutrogena one gets off all my makeup. This one does not. This one is the whole reason why I started going in with the makeup wipe. Even after using this with this, I still needed to go in with the makeup wipe. So I don't think that this is anything amazing. I got mine for free and thank God I did because I would not have been happy had I had to spend the price that Junk Elephant is. Now this, on the other hand, I wish I still had some, is the Proteiny Poly the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this I really, really liked. This helped out my eczema when it was at its worst. I had it on my eyelids. I had it all underneath my face, on my forehead, just everywhere. And this helps it out so, 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 so much. And it helped keep it clear. And I could also tell when I wasn't using this. I believe that e.l.f. has a polypeptide cream that I have been on the hunt for that I'm hoping to find and I could be mistaken but I really want to try to find that one and see if it's as good as this one because I can't afford this like I'm going to be straight up blunt and honest I cannot afford this but I love it so much. Okay another thing that I went through is this Vaseline healing jelly and I what I do with this is I mix it into my lotion and I lather up my body with it and so I really did like this. this I also do my own feet and so the nights that I would do my like like little mini pedicure I would put this on and my feet like were just using this it kept them soft forever and so I, I am still having to keep up with my feet and I still do but I do have problems with like dry heels crusty heels whatever you want to call them they dry they crusty they nasty and so yeah this actually really really helped out and yeah it really kept my skin feeling really hydrated i liked it i don't have a problem with it but i'm just currently trying something else out that i used to use in the past that really worked for me but this wasn't bad either okay this origins checks and balances little face wash i was not a fan of this is actually the second one i've gone through and i mean meh, it's all right i kind of feel like it's like the drunk elephant one it gets the job done but i still have to go in with the makeup wipe afterwards and completely finished getting all the makeup off of my skin okay now the origins ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer i actually really really like this and no complaints about this one it was really good it kept my skin moisturized i was using this one in the daytime and this one at nighttime and just because this one was a lot more thicker and i it was starting to get warm and i would sweat so i didn't want to feel like i had like a sweaty face so i liked the gel one better for during the day but these are both really good. Um, I wouldn't mind repurchasing this one or finding it or whatever the case may be. But yeah, that one was really good. Okay, I am. This one's not an empty, but I am going to get rid of it. That's pretty old. This is the Vivid, the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Light. And it looks really gold right now on camera, but you see how it does have some whites in there? That actually looks really pretty with the light, but it sucks. It vanishes off of your face within 15 minutes of having it on so yeah i'm just no no this is the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i have mine in the shade medium deep and yeah it's just way too old it was starting to look muddy on my skin the smells even starting to get weird so yeah that's why we're getting rid of that one but when it was good i loved it as you guys know i am not a fan of the sephora eyeshadow primer it dries the crap out of my lip it live my lids it sucks the living day out of my eyelids it makes my eczema act up and yeah not not a fan and i don't even believe that they sell this anymore so that's a good thing when i do buy hairspray i buy these little travel size ones because i don't use hairspray that much so i did go through this but since my hair did start falling out and whatnot i did go ahead and stop using hairspray because it is so drying and it does have alcohol in it i just didn't want that super crunchy hold so yeah 
we're no longer using this something i went through that took me forever because i just recently got into lashes is the kiss strip lash adhesive now this is really really good i do recommend that you let it dry down for a little bit before you pop your eyelashes on but it keeps them in place if you cry if anything this keeps them on and my nyx uh hd studio photo uh studio photogenic concealer i actually finished this you guys like and so that has to go bye bye but i do love this concealer i really do want to repurchase it but i repurchased one of my favorite favorite concealers and then i also went through this la girl shady slim brow pencil this is actually my favorite brow pencil. I do keep trying out other brow pencils just because I want to know, but still, even after the ones that I've tried, this one has been my favorite, and it's only $5, but since I finished it so fast, I don't feel like you get a lot of product in it, which isn't bad since it is only $5, and maybe I was just heavy-handed, but nonetheless, it was a good brow pencil. I do recommend it, and... Yeah, that was the last product of my product empties video. And so I love you guys. I hope that you guys know that Jesus loves you more. If you don't, now you know. Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, just hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.